Sounds of search teams filling the air in a Lakeland neighborhood today. Police are still searching for a man who already escaped their custody once today. Eight on your side, Stacey De Silva joins us now live in Lakeland with the very latest on this bizarre case. Stacey. It really is bizarre. Good evening to you. The bungled burglary arrest happened right here. Brandon James Beverly then fled police still in his handcuffs, and he hasn't been seen since. A modern day manhunt, drones and all, started with some stealthy burglary attempts overnight in Lakeland. You know, to have someone try to break in and then escape, it's like, Oh my God, really? Just before dawn Tuesday, Greg Flynn saw these images on his ring camera. He had accidentally left his keys outside the night before. Police say this is Brandon James Beverly trying to use them to get into Flynn's refrigerator. And he was trying to unlock the door, but apparently he doesn't know how to use keys. It takes a lot to rattle me. I was probably felt more violated. Others in the Lake Morton Historic District also saw Beverly and called the cops. He was arrested on Patterson Street after a report he was trespassing at Concord Coffee. Then, after he was handcuffed and placed in a Lakeland police cruiser, Beverly escaped. How does that happen? We are not sure at this time exactly what has happened. It's very hot outside right now. We could have been doing anything from opening a window to get fresh air, you know. We don't know yet. The situation had people in the area on edge. It's alarming. I mean, no one wants that in their neighborhood. They want to feel safe, secure. Police say there's no reason to believe that Beverly is armed or dangerous. Now, we have seen a lot of cruisers still circling this area, so it's definitely still an active search. Live in Lakeland, Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side. New tonight, a former Manatee